All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to your weekly wrap up, the Tools in Action Tool Talk. Uh, I'm not going to say this is going to be the worst show ever. This no. Is, this is going to be probably one of the best shows It'll ever. It'll probably be one of the it's shortest gonna, ones. It's going to be one of the shortest ones because we're really, uh, we got some big things going on, you guys. Mower Week really brought us down a little bit. Uh, we got a whole bunch of new stuff. We're out filming daily, just kind of putting some new stuff together. So we just kind of wanted to give you an update on that. Mm -hmm. And then we were going to do a garage. We're going to show you how we did a garage door thing. Which was thing. easier than I actually thought, even though, well, it was a lot easier for me because I didn't do anything. Dan actually did everything. But, you know, I always hear changing a uh, the garage door spring can be dangerous, this and that. But, you know, did it. Dan's still here, so congratulations. Right. And I mean, even asked the builder, everybody said, don't even try it, this and that. And that's but, what I've always heard is don't even mess with it, don't try it. But... I you gotta know. say, with the setup that I have, it was pretty easy because I have a two car, two door system. So there's only one spring. I didn't have to undo a spring or anything like that. Yeah. I think that's where the danger is. Um, I don't know. It actually went pretty smooth. It actually works as of right now. So yeah, it works pretty good. You guys are probably seeing it right now. Go up and down, really smooth. Aren't you? But then we'll show the actual video at the end, right? Yeah. At, right after we're done talking here, we'll uh, go yeah. to the end. And I do have a couple announcements. Okay. Um, what? Okay. First of all, I'd like to say, guys, thank you very much for being patient with me. I know I'm supposed to be sending out stickers. I've got a couple other tools and things to send out. Um, I started putting them. There's got to be over 70 of them that um, I've I got to get out. So, guys, I'm sorry about that. I will get those out to you um, soon. So I'm, I'm going to really shoot for either tomorrow or the beginning of the next week to get those out. Right. Yeah. So since he's announced that, we're not, no shout outs, no stickers today. No, no shout outs. Not until he I, gets caught up. I feel bad. Stall. A couple of people have asked, you know, where their stuff was and I feel bad that I haven't gotten it out to them, you know, so, um, but other than that. And the other thing I did want to, if you're brand new to Tools in Action, we do have, uh, basically every six months, we do the Ultimate Tool Bag Giveaway. Uh, where if you go to toolsinaction.com on the right hand side, you'll see a, ba it's on the, it's on the right hand side, right? A banner that shows you, like, well, click on that. That's going to take you to the Ultimate Tool Bag giveaway. It's going to show you how to enter and actually what's in there. What do we have in the tool bag as of right now? Um, JC10 um, compressor. Yeah. We've got a Fez. Oh, go ahead. No, I don't, don't want to take it. your thunder you're away. You're doing it, dude. Actually, that's I'm all I know is a JC10 compressor. Festool TS55, uh, Cargo De Tote, five client hand tools of your choice. A DeWalt nailer. A DeWalt nailer. Bosch IDH-182 and a DDS-182 in a combo kit mm -hmm. box. Mm -hmm. I think there's a couple other things, too. Yeah, there I is. You can just go check it out on toolsnext.com. We tell you guys about it all the time. <coughs> Man, I'll tell you what. I had, uh, what is it, Jaranera? I had Jaranera's on pizza for, like, the first time, and that is awesome pizza. Really? Yeah, I that's, love it. I had it tonight. I just had it. I can taste it. That's why I'm bringing it up. But okay, what else? All right, do you want to do that weed stuff on this one or the next one? Or we do that separate? That's, well, about growing weed? No, about the oh, weed, the weed killer. killer. Oh, yeah. that, yeah. We can do it now. All right, uh, a few of you guys have emailed us and say, hey, how do you get your grass so green and nice? Uh, I use this stuff, Gordon's Trimac. What do you do? Well, obviously you spray yeah, it Yeah, you put it in a sprayer. This actually right here, I just mix in a little, this is a spot sprayer, but I use the Gordon's, G-O-R-D-O-N-S, uh, Weed and Feed, I think it's 0015. Okay. It's just called Weed and Feed, but uh, I've put, I'm probably on my, like, my sixth application now. I do it in the beginning For of the year. For this year? No. Oh. Since I've had it, oh. since I've been here. I mean, I've been here since 07. Really? Okay. Yeah, that's a long time. How many years? Well... Four, no, four, seven, <laughs> seven, seven, <years>. seven. <laughs> Why do you always got to put me on the spot? Sorry. And we always, you know, because I use whatever's on sale. I'll get Scott's or I'll get stuff from Menards. He does not like Scott's, which I don't know why, but. Well, because I feel like every time you use Scott's, first of all, I don't believe in the granules. I don't, I just. I use it. It's awesome. No, dude, Eric, you have weeds in your yard. I don't have any weeds in my yard. I don't yard. have any weeds in my yard. Yeah, well, the guy across I know, the street from me the used difference. the Scots. Here's the difference. I'm not saying, I'm sorry, I'm not blaming Scots. As no, a it's not. A Scots wouldn't be around if they were junk. They're right. big, they're, you know. But the big difference, too, is you go in your lawn, it looks green and all that, but you got a lot of different, like, dirt patches. Dirt patches? Like, where your weeds have just gone and no. there's nothing there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. I checked it out today. Yeah, whatever. You're just jealous. You're just jealous. Yeah. But I believe in the spray type, you know, as soon as it's 60 degrees, as long as you got two or three days of no rain, 
It's a good time to spray or put the. I mean, my neighbor across the See, street. That's what's nice about the granule. You just he put anytime down the you granule. want to. And he's looking at all the weeds over there. Well, you got to put it in the right amount too, and you got you know. So he's like over there with wood chippers, so I'm pretty sure he knows about the right amount. Well, obviously not if he's got dandelions, unless that's the look he's going. Maybe that's the look he's going for. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, it could be you the know? dandelion look. So. Um, I'll probably, yeah, this will probably be up later in the day because I will take pictures. Oh, definitely. Guys. Yeah, because it is weird. There's no way that guy does his lawn. You can't Eric, tell me. I was out here one day and I saw him. It was, granted, it snowed three days later, but still, because it was that day we got that snow. Okay. But he was out there pushing his cart with his thing, and I'm like, man. That's gonna be a good test, and now he's got tons of dandelions. Yeah, there's no way. I've used the granule stuff for a long time. The last two years, I never used it, and this year I finally got, I think, like three or four dandelions. Otherwise, I never get See, anything on it. See, now he's got three or four before he had none. Well, three or four on a lawn is nothing. <clears throat> Anyways, no. I love this stuff. Farm and Fleet okay. Tractor Supply. Uh, this right here will last you the whole season. It doesn't kill crabgrass. See, though. it's more of a pain in the butt, I think. Cause you got to mix it. In. You got to carry a thing around. You got to do, you know, where the other thing you just dump in there and just walk. No, I understand that, Eric. But the, the, when you put down the weed and feed, you put that in a sprayer. Just do it once. Also, this is for spots. You oh, do, that's right. Yeah, you said you that. You have to I do spot you. spraying in your I don't yard. Do spot spraying. Well, that's why you have dandelions. I got a lot. I don't know, man. They just bother me really yeah. bad. All right. So what else is on the agenda for tonight? Uh, well, let's talk about the garage door opener. We're gonna attempt the garage door opener thing. And did we already talk about it? Yeah, we actually did. That was the whole beginning part of the first 30 minutes. Uh, well, we didn't talk about the winding bars. No, we didn't. And that we got it from youdoitstore.com. I know that's a weird name for a garage spring only store. You do it store. That's all they do is spell, uh, yeah, sell Yeah, I was like, man, spring. with that name, you could be selling all kinds of DIY stuff. Yeah, I know. You think you call it like springies or something. If yeah, you springies. But this is the key to being safe is winding bars, proper, correct winding bars, Yeah. not screwdrivers, because this is going to give you the proper leverage and they're not going to slip out like a conventional screwdriver would. Mm -hmm. So as long as you guys get the winding bars, came in a little kit right here with a new spring. I thought you had to buy the winding bars separate. You did. Oh, okay. Oh, did I kit. Say, oh, yeah, you yeah said I'm it. sorry. It doesn't come in a kit. Okay. It doesn't come in a kit. So that's about it, man. What about tool news, Eric? That's it. Let's wrap this one up. Uh, Milwaukee actually is coming out the tool bag, or toolbox. So we're going to get that, check that out, see what that's like. But that's not going to come out for a little bit. Right. And I'm we see you guys' comments. You know, some people didn't like that it's not modular, stuff like that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be modular. Not that one. But yeah, they were, know. that's just the first taste, you know? I'm po positive some, uh, I mean, I'm not positive. I don't know for a fact. But, I mean, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that some modular Milwaukee boxes will be coming out soon. Could be. I don't know. Well, yeah, they have to because they have to compete with these guys. If they want to get my business. You know? I mean, it was yeah. weird that that one didn't have modular, but that's okay. Maybe well, yeah, they want to get Maybe it's just business. testing the market. Yeah. But in this case, you guys, uh, in the four corners, you can put a drill so it doesn't move around and get beat up. I like that it has the half tray in there. Um, and then it has like a screw system on the top where you can screw things into like a charger or something. Yeah, so like that. that and then, yeah. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. It'll be interesting to get and actually see, the, see how it is. Yeah. So, yeah, that's cool. What other new tools? That's it. That was what I came up with. What did you come up with? What did you bring to the table tonight? I don't know. I don't know. Um, what about tool fights? Tool fights are on the horizon, you guys. I'm still Why are you telling them that? You've been telling that them for the last two I know, months, and we I haven't done like one tool fight. You. Why do you got to keep doing it? All right, because here's you what we're waiting on on tool, tool fights. Fight. We got a 12 volt ratchet tool fight coming up, right? But I'm trying to figure out a way that we can, you know, realistically show you guys the differences in the power of them. And we got uh, a nut buster tool fight coming up. Uh, we actually shot some of it with Matthew Fant, super fan, when he was here, and that was a long time ago. So now we are. What? That was like two years ago. Well, but we're, we're, I'm working on some kind of invention that excludes the spring, but unfortunately, we don't have a budget for it. So no, I gave you a budget. You just got to go within that budget, get but the stuff, and get it done. But I had to go buy the pump hoses instead with the <laughs> budget. Now my budget's That's gone. That's your problem. That's why you got to just work oh, with what you man, got. Oh man, this is horrible. It's this not is that horrible. Hard. All right, you guys, don't forget check us out. Are you done? I've been done a long time ago. We're wrapping it up. Just go ahead and check out That's how it. we did the garage thing. Now, before we even get into the garage thing, I want you guys to know that do not follow our lead. We Oh, yeah, no, yeah, we, on anything. Yeah, we checked it out from the internet pretty much how to do it. Uh, some guy kept talking about the, the spring blowing up and coming at you, or the cone. Which makes you a nice, cozy feeling when you're changing Yeah, it. the winding cone, and then, uh, yeah. But it turned out good, I mean. Yeah, it turned out good. I mean, it seems to be... Like it's working, so I'm I'm ecstatic. 
We gotta be. Ping. Yeah, exactly. All right, check it out, you guys. We'll see you. We'll see you next week. Tools in action. We are attempting something that tons of people said don't attempt. Did they not? Oh yeah. Yep. I'm still not going to. Dan's going to be doing it. Ask the Builder came along and said, "Don't do it. You won't survive." Okay. Here's the reason why we're doing it. A, because we're tools in action and we're cheap. B, because we don't think it's that dangerous. Even though we watched a video <laughs> and the guy said the spring cone could explode in your face. And C, just to prove to everybody that it's not that dangerous. I don't know, not. I still would say, you know what, for the money, pay someone to do it. You know, anytime there's something involved, yeah. that's what I Yeah, I mean, I if you have, like, this is a really small garage door spring. This door weighs 80 pounds, so it's, you know, I mean, obviously it's still dangerous, but it's not connected to a second spring. We don't have to unwind. That's when you start running into danger and stuff like that. Plus, when I did a quick Google search, like, stuff exploding or garage springs, everybody says it's crazy, but you don't hear that many stories of it. Till today. Yeah, exactly. You get to witness it live today. No, so you guys can see there's no tension in the spring right now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take off this wheel right here, slide the bar out, slide the spring off, and then put the new spring on, tighten it all up, and then crank it. And that's it. Then just go to the hospital. All right, we'll see you next week on Tools and Action. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's go. All right. What are we going to do? First thing we're going to do is you're going to mark. Do we explain what the heck we're doing or no? Yeah, explain it. We're going to mark. Uh, I can't even see on here. All right. So basically I'm going to take that off, right? So you're going to loosen that thumb screw, this one over here, and this stuff over here too. You don't have a oh, three-eighths wrench? Is that what it takes? I thought. Tools in action. We got everything. Is that what it said? Three eighths? Are you sure it wasn't? Um, Maybe three sixteenths? I don't know. Three eighths, you said? Three eighths is big, isn't it? Yeah, that's almost half an inch. I don't think that's three eighths. Oh, dude, my knee hurts. Maybe we should have called the, the spring doctor. Okay. It was uh, three eighths. Wow, Eric. Look at that. Okay, I'm loose. I don't think this one does. I think you got to take that one off now, and these this stuff right there. Okay. Oh. Take both of these out. Take this out, Dan. What? Well, no, no, no. That doesn't come out. That just hangs there. That's what I mean. It comes and you put it right here in the hole. Oh yeah, that's what the guy told us to do. That guy was smart. All right, so you guys, there's no pressure on here, so this is safe. Why don't you move your ladder over? Because that would mean work. Should, uh... I, loos I loosened that one earlier. That's it. Okay, now what? You gotta take that thumb screw off. This is just gonna be part of the tool talk. Yeah, I know. Take right where your hand is, that screw. Oh, you're already what? loose. That's already loose. Okay, so now what? Genius. So that's all loose, but how does this come out of here? Oh, here, I gotta like... loosen this one so you can push it back and go forward. What? I gotta loosen this all one. Right, you still never took the screws out of that thing. Don't you gotta take the screws? Oh. And the thing that took the screws out. Yeah, okay. Now what? Well, I gotta loosen this one, don't I? I guess. What size was it? Three eighths. Oh, this is horrible. All right, you guys. So this was gonna turn into a separate how to change the spring on a garage door video, but we're just doing it TIA style and getting it done. Oh, I totally forgot to start the camera. Damn it. Seriously? This one. Oh. I guess that's why we're tools in action, Eric. Exactly. All right, so so probably pull it towards me. Push it towards me. Ow, damn it. Really? Okay. All right, now just wait there. 
I'm not going anymore. Okay, so we're gonna take the old spring <coughs> off. Man, I can't believe those springs just snap. Okay, we'll let that pull it out a little bit. Let it sit right there where I get the new spring. Where do we get the spring from? Doityourself.com or something. You do it store. You poo it store. You do it. Oh, you do it. All right, you guys, check this out. Um, I actually bought this from youdoitstore.com. I went on there and there was a tag on my old spring and I went on the live help and the guy answered and he's like, yeah, what's up? And I'm like, I have this spring and this is what he sent me. So, and it was relatively cheap and we have things that are called winding wands. Is that what they're called? Yeah. What, winding bars. Winding bars. And those are what's gonna help you wind the spring. You don't wanna use screwdrivers. All right, you ready? We're supposed to oil this, but I don't have any oil. Oh, damn it. You might have to loosen oh, those. Oh, I gotta loosen those set screws. Damn it. You swear a lot. It's heavy, man. Oh my god. Come on, what's happening? Oh, there we go. Alright. So that goes that way. And then this is gonna come back. Okay. Oh gee, what the Here, hold on. Yeah, push it down. There you go. Okay. What a workout. So you guys, this is why, why, what are you doing? Don't turn it no more. Don't turn it no more? <laughs> this is why you want to pay a professional to do this, because a professional will come along. Are you lined up on the mark? You're not lined up on the mark. Yeah, I am, there. right there. OK, well, how come I'm not? Just spin it. You want to use Loose, the Loosen yours a little bit, just for a second. It won't mean anything, I just guarantee it. Just loosen it for a second. Okay, hold on. Let me just get mine in position. You're an asshole, man. I know. Hold on. Hold on before you tighten yours. Okay, now go ahead. You can put yours where it's supposed to go. Okay, give me that wrench. It better be tight, man. I don't want this thing blowing up in my face. All right, so as you can see, we have this spring on. And what the guy told us to do, too, well, not that guy, but from the video, <laughs> <laughs> they said spray a line here, because that, that's how you can count your wine. So I'm going to see if I have any spray paint. Didn't you use it all when you were doing your uh, graffiti the other night? On your house? In Chicago? Yeah. I think that's the least of Chicago's problems. All right, so I got a little paint here. I'll just do a little line. So now when we spin that, that it's probably not going to stick because it's plastic paint, but it will, uh, seven, I'll show you guys. Come on, this is Tools in Action, Friday Night Tool Talk. Project time. All right, now we got to put these windy things in there, Eric. Put what windy things in there? These. Yeah, and you also got to put, why don't you put this in there too? Well, no, I will once I get the windy, wind, windy. The windy things? That's the technical term too, isn't it? The windy yes, things? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to go this way. What the? Did you set your, your set screws? Huh? Did you tighten your uh, oh. set screws? Not yet. Yes, I know I'm an idiot. I could have moved the ladder over. Did you get your cable up in there? Your cable's the wrong way. All right, so we're going to get our winding bars and start winding. So when you guys, the only thing we know about these doors, like do not be in the path of that when it explodes. So when, when it, it explodes. explodes. So I'm going to be off to the side a little bit here. Uh, uh, uh. 